Lonely Planet and Ford set out to prove that you don't always have to go far to find an exciting new adventure. We are cruising. So we asked 10 leaders in the Atlanta community to explore their hometown in a way they never have. We paired them up, gave them three travel challenges, and raised the stakes. Let's do this. Awarding one team $5,000 for the local charity of their choice. A lot of what I love about Atlanta, it's spontaneous fun. So you can go downtown and park your car and there's all these experiences waiting. If we wanted to experience the best and the biggest to us, that is college football without a doubt. No other city has a museum just dedicated to college football. Oh, so close. Everybody comes here to play their big games, whether it be bowl games, whether it be championships. So having that in Atlanta, we really wanted to showcase that. Much better than the kicking. Yeah. We experienced the biggest and best at the Vortex, which was the tallest, biggest, and by far the best burger in town. I don't know how I'm going to start. I don't even know how to pick it up. Three, two, one. <laughs> I love the challenges because it's so true. Sometimes we forget what we have. So many places to go right here in your backyard. Match my nails to the car. <laughs> We should try to go find Baton Bob. Should we go get some tiaras? Yeah, and batons. It's kind of pop-up, like you never know where Baton Bob is gonna be. But we found him, Bob! He just dances in some of the most high traffic areas of the city. All the horns honk and we went and danced with him. He's Atlanta's favorite princess. Fox Theater's been a staple in Atlanta. The Fox Theater's an icon to the city. We were like, why don't we dress as foxes? <laughs> there happened to be a Halloween store on the way that Gigi knew about. But what's not obvious in stepping outside your comfort zone is dressing up as a fox in front of the fox. We're reaching new heights. We're gonna hop on a helicopter. But wait, I'm afraid of heights. I'm really Jessica, nervous. Jessica, you can do really this. Nervous. Just hold on to me when you get scared. We got this. I'll Let's take go. care of you. All right. We got a really cool pilot. We flew along the Chattahoochee River, zigzagging in and out, <laughs> getting all sorts of great angles. Our whole point of the journey was Stone Mountain. We wanted to reach new heights and kind of still continue on the iconic journey of showing the coolness of Atlanta. We we're just there to explore and, and look at the city really from a different vantage point. When it comes to facing new heights and getting out of our own comfort zones, I think we definitely did this challenge well. Thanks for taking us to Thank new heights. Thank you. Epic. 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 Thanks so much, guys, for coming out today to participate in Atlanta's Weekend Wanderlust. A lot of unique challenges and interesting ways of fulfilling them. The judges tallied up the scorecard, and it was a very close call. This team that won today went a little more above and beyond. They were afraid of some big things that they overcame, and today's winners are Jessica and Fred. <laughs> Congratulations to everyone. Thanks so much for coming out.